Museum fans, welcome back to another collection snapshot at the Wyoming Veterans Memorial Museum. I'm John Woodward, the Director of Museums for the Wyoming Military Department. In these short videos, we highlight interesting and unique items from our collections. This week, we're highlighting a relatively new addition to the museum, a TG-34A Keir from the Nick Nicholas Collection. This device was used by the Army and Army Air Forces in World War II to train radio operators. So let's learn a little bit more about it and how it was used. Radio played an important role during World War II. New technologies allowed for smaller and more powerful radios. Infantry could take radios like the SCR-300 or walkie-talkie into the field with them. Military aircraft, including the B-17 and B-24, also carried powerful radio sets. The TG-34A Kier served as a training device for radio operators. Using a specialized sensor called a photocell, the device could read and then play back radio code printed on a paper tape. Operators would load a code reel into the keyer with the tape passing under the photocell. As the reel played, trainees could hear code playing through a built-in speaker. These devices were small and relatively portable, only needing external power. While this TG-34A does not have a connection to Wyoming, radio operators training at the Casper Army Air Base would have used similar devices. Army Air Force radio operators spent close to a year in training before deploying overseas. Kiers would have been used in Casper and possibly in their duty stations in Europe or the Pacific. And with that, we'll wrap up this collection snapshot. Thank you for watching and supporting all of our work here at the Wyoming Veterans Memorial Museum. If you like videos like this, please be sure to check out our back catalog. For all of our Facebook fans out there, please be sure to like and share this video. If you're watching us on our YouTube channel, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss an upcoming video. And with that, we'll see you next time.